All right, sorry, I didn't think to do this recording earlier, but uh, some of these pins on the CPU were bent super flat. I don't know if you can tell right now, they're pretty good, but some are still bent. Uh, but basically, in order to bend them back, what I had to do, so when they're super flat, you need a super thin uh, tool. So I used this little needle, some were bent like this way. You basically get underneath, like right where the pin is, and then you slowly kind of like just work it like you don't want to just quickly rip it up because these as they bend like back and forth um, it can break basically like if you were to get a paper clip and you keep bending it like that it'll break but if you go slowly it's less likely to break um, but still you don't want to keep bending it back and forth too much so I don't want to purposely bend a pin just to show you but basically the pins would be like bent and then you would have to like kind of lift it up it works best if it's if it's bent towards a row you can kind of get the tool in between the whole row just like this the whole row and then you can lift the entire row up and that way it will all go the same direction all right once you lift all the pins enough that they're no longer like intersecting other rows you get a very thin tool like this that is about the same uh um that can fit within this uh ridge right you want it actually a little bit thinner and basically you would go in between the rows okay and wherever it's bent, so let's say it's bending in towards the center here. So you go here, get that whole row, and then you use that whole row to kind of help you line everything up. Just bend it all in the same way, all right? So let's say you want here and it's bending outwards. You go in here and you push the entire row like that. And once you hit the unbent pins, that's how you know you're good, all right? So the pins that were bent, I don't know if you can tell anymore, but there were some bent over here. Uh, basically they were bending sideways you can see you can't perfectly bend them just because you see that now the pin has like a slight bend to it but the main goal is to get the tip of the pin uh, lined up with all the rest because once you get the tip lined up when you drop this in it's gonna automatically go into the slot and you're good all right um, if you really want to try and bend it completely flat then you need like two tools that you can just sandwich together. I don't have anything like that. You can see this one is still um, kind of bent there. So let's go ahead and see if we can bend that back. So we'll get this here. Okay, you can see how it's like that. And um, we're going to turn it around actually because we want the more rigid side facing the bent pin. So we'll get this in between. Come on. Okay, so in between. And then, now that you have it in between, you basically will kind of just bend the whole stack, okay? So let me get it back in between there. It keeps wanting to move. Come on, get back in there. It's a little bit difficult to do this because I'm trying to show it on camera, but... Okay, so basically you get that in there, and then... Oh, is it not... Okay, it's not lined up right so this one actually might be bent a little too much you can see all right and you basically bend the whole stack out get the whole get the tool back in there and again make sure sorry I know I keep going out of camera it's hard to see what I'm doing and do it at the same time all right so basically there you go line that up make sure it's all good on both sides and then check if it's lined up the other way as well get the tool in there and you kind of line that up as well okay all right you can see this one is bent inwards too much so we got to go to that last row get the thing in okay and it's kind of too close together so I got to get this side in oops sorry I keep going out of view and then get that okay and then once you get it you can Kind of get the other end in and make sure it's all flat the two down here are kind of having a some trouble down there so we got to make sure those also line up i'm going to rotate it this way double check it you can see it's kind of blowing out a little so we'll go back in there and we'll go that way maybe i should zoom out more so you guys can see better okay but uh yeah so basically you're just trying to line everything up using this straight edge okay the only thing is you need something that's thin enough and straight enough that it's not gonna cause any issues so this one's kind of still weird okay get it in between line it up and wedge it all right the outer one is still a little weird 
So we're going to get that, line it up, and there we go. Okay, and again, you don't want to work this too much because if you do it too much, there's a chance you can actually um, you can actually bend them too much to where it just snaps off. <laughs> All right, so you want to be very careful there. All right, and then once you're done bending it, you just want to kind of look around, double check, make sure all the pins look straight. You just look down the edge like this and kind of see if everything looks lined up. Again, um, the ones that got bent might be a little wobbly, but that's okay as long as the tips of the things line up. So I can tell this one's, these have been bent a little. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. But uh, I can tell with my naked eye that they've been bent a little. Um, you can try and like bend it back a little more, but it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Again, once it goes all in the slot, then you're good, all right? So we just have to make sure that any of the bends aren't going to cause it to like get caught. So it works best to kind of look with one eye all the way down. I don't know if I can get it to focus properly, but you look with one eye all the way down and make sure the rows that you can see all the way down through, all right? So that's how you make sure that they're lined up. So there are some crooked ones in here, but uh, they're probably not crooked enough to cause an issue. So, all right, once you make sure that they're close enough, let me try and get this guy. But once you make sure that they're close enough, then you should be good, okay? That you can just put it back in the socket and it should drop in. Um, and usually the way you can kind of tell is if you look at it and you kind of wiggle it around, you can see like the ones that are kind of um, not straight will sparkle different. Like you can see little specks showing up. Those are the ones that are slightly bent, okay? Um, but it looks like they're good enough. So. Yeah, some of these were bent almost completely flat, and I was able to get them back up using this like metal toothpick thing. So we just kind of got in between underneath and then kind of just wedged it, wedged it, wedged it slowly. Um, so it looks good now. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. I know this was kind of a long video and it was kind of hard to show what was going on, hard for you guys to see. But that's the main goal is make sure you get those long straight rows kind of slowly go again with one eye and then look from uh, both like sides, nine, turn it 90 degrees and then check again. Um, if you want, you can check from all four sides, but usually once you checked one and the other, you should be okay. I see one here that's a little weird, but I think it's lined up. Yeah, it's lined up enough that it shouldn't be an issue. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Let's get this in the computer. I'm gonna get this in the computer and that's pretty much it. See you guys later, bye. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, if there's, um, what do you call it? If there's the uh, thermal paste there, you can brush it off with a toothbrush. Okay, you can see, you can brush it off. It's not gonna damage the pins, just don't be too rough with it. But you can see I can get in between all the pins and brush that off. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you on the next one, bye.